Hi everyone, Bim Eaton is here. Uh, today I would like to talk about how to prepare confined surfaces drawing CSD model by using Revit. Um, firstly, what is the CSD model? The confined surfaces drawing means we are overlay all of our single model all together in one project. For example, in your project have a lot of separate surfaces model. Um, for example, Archie model, structure model, facet, furniture, sanitary, rainwater, plumbing, fire surface, electric, ACLB, and etc. Uh, what is the purpose of the CSD? CSD, we can say coordinate surface drawing as well. Uh, these are intended for coordination and to generate plan and session view for every single room and every area and for every floor. And then we can indicate each surfaces in two or three dimension. And then this one can help identify any clutches as well. So uh, I will use the Autodesk sample project. Uh, let's go to the Revit. Okay, here I will use the sample model. Uh, I will firstly use Revit uh, key advanced sample project. Okay, I will go to the 3D view. Here we can see the Archie model. And then after that, I will link the structure model. Okay, so we can check which model we use in our current project. So we can check by using two ways. The first way is using the visibility. Uh, visibility, we can search on the properties palette. Here has a visibility graphic. And then we can use the uh, shortcut VV. Currently, we, using, we are linking Revit, Stretchers, and the project. Okay, after that, I the another way where we can check is we go through the manage tab and then here is the manage link tool. Uh, now I I already linked structure model to our current project. Okay, another one more model I need to link. This is the ME. So Revit link. So I will link the Revit. Um, e event sample project. Okay, fine. Oh yeah, this model. I need to change again. Okay, never mind. So I will go to the plan view, and then I need to relocate this model. Okay. Okay. For this one, our MNE model location is not correct, so we need to settle this thing first. Okay. Now I will explain you how to use the wall set. Firstly, firstly I will go to the three D more three D view first. Okay. So I will go to the manage tab, and then. Oh, we need to go to the collaborate tab. After that, we can collaborate. But you need, if you want to use the wall set, your model must be the central model. If not, you cannot use the wall set tool. Okay, just leave it. 
now our model is not the central model so just leave it this two uh, now I show you how to override your model by using the tool so by category or oh, this one also not use okay never mind we will use the visible lady graphic I will use this one and then my model is um, MNE so I will use this half tall apply okay tonight is half tall okay never mind I need to go to the level one mm, this one is our RME model so I need to relocate it again now our crop view is in the range oh no out of the range so we will check where, where is the boundary so we need to change to the out of the range yeah, not, not too much different so I need to relocate again okay uh, we will use the move tool and then here is the intersection of the grid I will move a bit fast after that what is the uh, grid so firstly I will check for the grid line A so I will use the align tool here is the grid line A here is the grid line A okay and then I will align the vertical grid here I have the grid line one and then here I have the grid line one mm. so now I overlap correctly if you don't want to move your model again you need to paint off your model so I will currently I will slap off the view after that I will go I will use the filter view here I have the link model reveal link model apply ok so the first one is a it should be the IME model yeah so I will ping this model after that I will temporarily hide so go to this one and hide element this is the temporary height when we using the temporary height we can see temporary height isolate this tag on the on your user interface laptop height laptop okay so another one more revealing is stretch model so I will select after that I will Go to the filter where is the rubber link okay so this one I also need to pin again okay fine I want to I need to use the different color for the different services okay so I will explain what kind of color what kind of color we need to follow Actually, we need to follow our beam exclusion plan. So this plan is we prepare before we start our project. So this one need to this one is prepared by the beam manager or beam coordinator. Uh, so all of modeler need to follow their beam guideline and need to follow their instruction and then we need to follow their color for our CSD model. So currently I will assign the three color. Akimore use the blue, Stratamore use the light green and then the MNE more use the red color. So I need to change this color for my current project. So I will go to the to my model. After that, I will use this one. Okay. For the now, I need to use the view template. Okay. Never mind. So I will go to the level one first. First. After that, I will use the VV, and then go to my I M E services project now we are linking other Revit model so we can see by host view if we want to change the color we need to change their setting to the custom so after that I will go to the model category so I will change to the custom I select all 
After that, I set the color to the blue for every Aki model category. Apply OK. So now I can see the blue color for every or every element of Aki model. Okay, next. Okay, again for the structure model. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is for the RME, so I need to change all of their color to the red. Change to the red color. Okay. And then apply. Okay. So we can see the red color for every RME. Uh, M and E model. So I need to change the green color for the stretcher model. So I will go to the stretcher model. I will change to the custom option. After that, I will change to the custom select all and then I will change to the light green color. Light green color. Okay, okay, apply, okay. Like, okay, so now the I need to change for my Revit model. So I will use the current uh, model category. I never go to the Revit link right now. So select all after that. You change all of your services to the um, this one must be the blue blue color. Apply okay. Apply okay. Mm. So now we can see three color. Uh, blue, red color, and then the light green color. Okay. So now, just now I'm just change in the visibility graphic of the first entry level, but the the other level cannot see our new updated color. So we need to create the view template. View template is really easy. So you go to the view tab. After that, go to the view template. So you need to curate, curate template from current view. So you choose this tool. After that, we need to give the name CST floor plan. Or floor plan. Okay. Yeah. Here now you can see CSD overall floor plan. Here is a view scale. If you want to change the 50 or now I want to change the 30, so I can I need to choose custom view, custom fast. After that, I can change to 30. This fine. Uh, okay, let me start to the one is to 100. First, uh, here is a model display is a normal detail level is fine. Here also fine. Uh, if you want to change the model display, now I'm currently using the wireframe. If you want to change the hidden line, you can change here. And then if you want to use the transparency, you can set your transparency here as well. So I will change the game. Okay, now I'm not affected because my current model, current floor plan is not using the view template for every time. So I will go to the properties palette, I've entered the identity data, we can see the view template. So I will choose my CSD overall floor plan view template and then I apply it. Okay, so this will change to the hidden and then the transparency now here we cannot change anymore because I use the view template uh, what is the difference okay now I just change to the name okay you go there after that applying template properties to current view so firstly I will use the architectural plane I will choose this one after that Click apply properties OK. So this will change to all the settings of the Archi structure, Archi the view template. But uh, we can adjust all of the color because this is only for the one time. So this means you apply template property to the current view. This will change to one time only. Uh, but if you have one more changes. Uh, for the, uh, in the future, so you need you should set this one view template and you choose your 
correct to template for your floor plan after that applying it if you want to change uh, anything so we need to go this way and after that we need to we can change here if not we cannot change any other setting directly from here anymore okay so i will set this csd view template to other floor so i will select the rest floor plan after that i go to the properties palette and then i will choose the csd overall floor plan for every floor okay, now i go to the zero one entry level furniture layer so this will change as our color blue red color and then the light green color okay mm. So now I will show you how to create the elevation and how to create the sheet. Okay. Let me check this one way. This here is the L terminal. So we can see this the ECM V services. And then No problem, electrical. Mm, okay. Why this? Oh, light feature. Here is a light feature. Mm. Okay. So now I will explain you how to create. I will explain you how to create elevation and session view for every single room with the confined surfaces drawing color. Now I'm reached the tab floor. I reach the tab floor. I will use I will go to the view tab and then I will choose the elevation. I will choose the elevation here. Okay. So I need to, yep, the elevation view is here. I need to create four elevation view for this room. So click, click, and then click again. Okay. Uh, we have two options. Uh, do you want the very easy and the very fast way is we can use a coral setting. I will use the coral setting rectangle view for this area and then I will create a coral view for this room. Yep, here you can see coral view for only this area. So we will go this way and then go to the elevation view. So you can see only this room area, only this area. And after that, here is the elevation. Okay, let me give the name. Here is open office. So it might have been, it might be stopped here. And then, I will go to the view, uh, visibility graph it. Now I cannot, so I need to go to the view template name. And then I need to go to the reveal link half dome of the model. Except up key model. Okay, now we can see very clearly. Okay, so I will set The elevation and then the view range to here. I want to see this one. I will create the elevation. After that, 
this side as well this side also I will use this one and this will change to here for this side as well okay fine so now here we got the corrupt view and then we got the four elevation we can see every every elevation so now I will I also when I use this one to our CSD model why my elevation is not correct so I need to check the story where is 1.1 it's a 1.1 I think maybe here got some error 1.1 must be the same one more is wrong already mm. yeah no correct already I'm not sh so sure So I will go to this view first. Oh, firstly, before we go this one, I went to. I need to create a sheet view first. So I will go to the sheet and then I will create new sheet. I will use the A1 metric. Okay. So if I need. Um, Okay. I don't need so I will go to the level three floor plan first. Mm. Here I will create this one. Okay. Let me find out this view. This view where is the name of this core view? Here is the DT01. So the coral session view we can we need to find first mm, so let me find tt0 control c after that we will use the search tool and then control v yep here is the detail view detail so i can i can use the tt0 mm, so i will change this row number to open office Level three, level three open office. Okay, so I will go to the E4 and then I will drag. I will drag. Oh no, before I drag, I need to give the name to every elevation. So I will give this one to open office elevation one. Mm. Open office elevation one level three. Rename control C. After that, I will go to the ERV when. Okay, copy this one. After that, this one must be the elevation two. Elevation two, and then here must be the elevation three. Elevation 3 and then one more this side must be the elevation 4 Okay, elevation 1, 2, 3, 4 Yep So now I go through the level uh, E4 view 
and then I will change the name to um, here level 3 open office level 3 open office okay so I will drag I will drag and drop this any this floor plan this coral floor plan to here so firstly we will go to the elevation because I just created the elevation so elevation when I drag here elevation to I also drag here after that elevation tree elevation tree and then here I have elevation 4 elevation 4 so the last one is floor plan floor plan is quite big okay never mind later we will adjust this floor plan okay. now the current the current floor plan view is when is to 50 uh, the the elevation view is when is to 100 and then i also want to set the color for this tree so I will go to the elevation and then I slap these four elevation. After that, I apply new template. Currently using this one. Go to all CSD over our floor plan. Just apply properties. Okay, now I need to set the view scale. This one must be the one is to 50. This one must be the one is to 60. So I will go to this elevation one view first. After that. I will change the range to when is to 50. When is to 50. I think the red is stay not okay. So this two of a bit must be the full top, not the half top. Okay. Um, and then I need to adjust the height. Roof level. Here must be the roof level. Mm, here is the floor plan. This one is good and match. Okay, so I will I will curate the view template again as by this session. So I will go to the view tab and then view template. So curate new view curate template from current view. So this time I will give the name CSD elevation cfd elevation so now i'm using 50 right 15 when is to 50 so i will give the csd elevation 50 okay so okay so this four will change to 50 so i'm now i'm very sure i will use this template so i will straight away take so i will straight away go to the properties palette and then i will set the view template CSD elevation 15 apply okay okay so now I will back to the sheet here we can see very clearly for every session so I need to adjust to adjust when two three four okay so I will drag this to here, here. Okay. For this one, ah, uh, oh no. here also I need to adjust a bit mm. change to here the title I will move to there mm, okay let's set let's adjust the rest tree mm. okay Elevation when elevation two and then here I have the elevation three 
After that, here I have the elevation for. Okay, I need to adjust the height. I only want to see at anti roof level. Okay, this one is fine. So just go to the. Hmm. Go to the next one. Can you notice here we see a lot of grid line but I only want to see our current archi grid line I don't want to see stretch out and then the IME model so I need to go to the <clears throat> well I select this elevation or this elevation so I go to the view template and then I go through to the reveal link and then I go to the custom link the grid line is under the annotation category, so I will change to the custom view. I will straight away go to the grid line, and then I will straight away go to the level. I uncheck of this these two category. Uh, here is what affect to the RME model, and then I also want to hide grid line and level for the stretch out model. So I will go to the custom, and then. I will hide for the grid line and then the level of the stretch out model. So I will straight away apply, okay, apply, okay. So we not just now we see single grid line. Every single grid line, not a duplicate. So just very clear, and then we can adjust. Okay, so I will go this one. Yep. Now it's fine. Adjust our grid line, and then okay, this one is fine. I will move a bit. This one also, I need to do it again. Fine. Now this one. Just the grid line. Here yeah, also I need to adjust the grid line. Okay, adjust it. Hmm. Okay, if you want to align, if you want to align this drawing, you can use the detail line. Detail line is here. Annotate. You can use the detail line tool and then just draw the vertical line and then move your session view to here then you move your session view to here yeah now everything is fine okay so this one you can move by dragging okay now here Okay, that's all. So now we just created the CSG view elevation. Here we can see all of services with our BEP color. Here you can see BEP color. As per BEP color, we just generated the CSG, CSG view template. Uh, by using CSG view template, just now we just created the CSG elevation and session view. So now we will go to the level three again. Uh, now I will create another core out for the other for the other room. So you can use one more shortcut is if you want to create a core out. So you can use create similar. Create similar is here. We can use this option. Create similar. I straight away draw this one. Oh yeah, very messy. Okay, now it's fine. So I will copy. I will copy this elevation first. 
opt. Just this one. I just did this one. No, this one cannot. My floor is moving. Okay, never mind. I will go to the. After that, I will choose when view and where elevation. Applying. Okay. I will copy. Copy is here. Copy. If you want to use multiple, you can use multiple. But I will copy for one time only. Here is the here is administration room. So I will go to the. I will give the core up to the level three. Not this one is not level. This one is not T two zero anymore. T two zero anymore. This one is level three. Administration. Administration. So I will copy this name. After that, I will set my elevation view is. Oh, I can change the name. I can change the view tab. Uh, this tab. So I will go to to this elevation. Oh my. It's really difficult to track. Okay, never mind. I will move this one first. Hmm, it's very easy. I will track like that. Hmm, yeah, also. Okay, I will do like that. Yeah, fine. Okay, here also get when. How about this side? This I also need to adjust. Hmm, adjust a bit. Just a bit. Just a bit. Oh no. Just a bit again. Just again. Okay, so I will give the elevation name. Here must be the level three administration elevation when. Elevation two. Elevation three. Elevation four. Okay. Elevation four. Okay, I already gave the elevation. Okay, this time I will use the same view template. Okay, so I will go. I will firstly go to the sheet. Now here I have the L level three administration. I went uh, pick the floor plan from here. Why this session view is enter? Okay, I will hide this one. Okay, so I will move this one to here. Mm. Okay, after that, here I have the administration elevation when level three administration to three four. Okay. Now I currently using one is to fifty, one is to fifty, uh, scale. But my view is quite small. I have a lot of space, so I wanna change this template to one is to twenty five. So how we change? Okay, I will select one elevation view. After that, uh, 
Okay, so I will double click this one because here they never say yet for that Q template. So I will firstly I will apply the CSD session 50 view, apply template CSD elevation 50 view, applying properties. Yeah, now this will change to this color. So I will change to the one is to 25 scale. After that, I will do create template from current view. So I will give the name. Before I give name, I need to check the name first. CSD elevation 15. So I will copy this one first. After that, I will go to the curate template from current view. I will use this name copy paste CSD elevation 25. So this one is fine. Okay. Here, okay, here I don't want to see, I don't want to see the session for every elevation. So I will set to template CSD elevation 25, apply it. After that, I go to the model annotation category. I will turn off the session. Apply OK. Apply OK. So I will. I don't need to hide the session anymore. I just and check the visibility of this current session. So the rest three, I also need to. Okay. Here is the elevation when. So elevation 2 to elevation 4, I also set the view template. View template, here I will choose the CSD elevation 25, apply, okay. So now everyone change to this one. So how about this one? Okay, this one also need to change to 25. So I will go to the... Uh, uh, I, if you went uh, straight away, change this floor plan you just need to double click the floor plan uh I've, this will active for this floor plan if you went to an active you just press the right click and then deactivate you yeah so i will double click and then i will adjust this one after that i will change to the one is to 25 before i change this i will start this one into apply to template CSD CSD let me check CSD floor plan. So I will apply this one first. After that, I will change to the one is to 25 view scale, and then I will create template. Before I create template, I want to copy this name CSD over floor floor plan. This one change to hundred. So I will copy this name. Okay, so I will go to I will go to this two again. Create template from current view. I copy and paste. CSD overall floor plan fifth. No, this one must be twenty five. This one change to twenty five. So I need to set the two scale is to one is to fifty. The rights I don't need to change. Oh, okay. One more thing is I want to change the grid line. For this one okay so I will click this floor plan after that I will go to view palette and then I will set CSG overall floor plan 25 applying so this was straight away change to view template is CSG overall floor plan 25 um, after that this one must be 25 applying okay and then I don't want to see the Duplicate grid line. So I will go to the revealing, go to the custom view, annotation, change to post view, grid line, apply, OK, and then go to the structure, annotation category, custom, go to the grid line, apply, OK, apply, OK, apply, OK. So I now I only see one grid line. It's fine and very clearly, and we can understand very easily. Okay, now can you see? Mm, I will put like this first. Okay, now can you see? I want to change this number into when because here is the elevation when. 
that how to change now I will select this session view and then after I go to the view palette here is the detail number I will set to the number one this one cannot because detail number is already in use so because the floor plan is already set to the detail number when so now we have the day number five but i want to change this one into the day number one so how we change the very easy way is let's change this one into the view number set first okay after that i will change this one into detail number one after the elevation two i will change to the detail number two this one elevation three I will change to the DT number three and then this one I will change to the DT number four and then the last one is the floor plan so I will change back to DT number five okay so this is fine so now I arrange this one control Z hmm Let's start this one. Okay, now I will settle one by one. Okay. I will use the detail line to adjust all of my session view. I will use this one. Oh, this detail line must be a bit away from the left side. A line and then, oh. I cannot use a line. I must be use the move move to. Also, I must be use the move to. Mm. Mm, here. Two, three, and then the detail line. I need to move a bit. Okay, and then this one, I need to check. I need to adjust up and down. Double click, and then I will adjust the grid line. Mm, fine. I will move the test. This one also need to move a bit. I will double click again. Adjust the grid line, double click again. Yeah, also double click again. This one, hmm. if you don't double click, you can right click and then the deactivate view. Hmm. Yeah, also. Oops, sorry. Yeah. For my opinion, in my opinion, the session view is more suitable with the wireframe instead of the hidden line. So I will straight away change to the more display into the wireframe. I think session view is more comfortable with the wireframe. This one we can see very clearly. Okay, for the level three open office, I will go to the and then I will change to the more display to the wireframe. This one will be very fine. So now we got two sheet. This one is. This one we can see all of our combined services during and we can measure and we can put the dimension uh, di so firstly I will measure from here to here is how much 3800 I think this one is ceiling from ceiling to height is 2150 if you are not so sure you tap this one yeah it's a compound ceiling and then you can tag 
annotate, go to the annotate, and then go to the tag category. After that, like this. Or oh, no more silly. Okay. Okay, now we already got the CST, CST plan view and session view for the area what we want to coordinate. Okay, that's all. I hope this video will help you for your work and for your learning. If you want to give any suggestion, please uh, leave comment. Please leave your comment on the comment box. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye.